Yeah, one part that was always aggravating that was missing on this car that just bugged me was this little bumper guard pad. Actually, the front had um, bumper cards and bumper pad guard pads on it, uh, according to the factory spec sheet, but I guess it got hit in the front a little bit. They replaced the fender and the bumper, probably the grill, well, years ago, before I had it, because I got this in 91. But the 78... They got different taillights on it, because I remember one time my taillights got ripped off back in the 90s. <laughs> that sucked, because I had a hard time finding them. This is before the internet was really around strong. But even with the internet, I always had a hard time finding this shit. You know where I got it from? DixieMonteCarlo.com is the only place I saw it had this. The 78 is actually a little bit different. Um, the taillights are different. Then 79 to 87 is the same crap for tail lights. This is actually a little different. I guess you can, make, you know, just because of the way this lines up, you know. It's um, the 79 to 87. These are a little closer together, but you can still, I guess, you can glue it on here. Actually, I'm not going to use weather strip adhesive on this. I'm going to use plastic emblem adhesive, which will permanently make sure this shit doesn't fall off, although it just snaps into place. It shouldn't need it. Very hard part to find. The only place I found it was DixieMonteCarlo.com. I know one issue I had years ago, um, up in the front, the spindle on this car, 78 only. See, 78, they changed over to the fifth generation. So 78 has got some differences. Tail lights are different. I guess you could put the other ones in, but then they're not. Well, at least I'm going to change these out, but it says... 200 bucks. I remember I polished these before. I'm <laughs> probably going to polish them again, man. <laughs> I just, you know, I don't really want to spend 200 bucks on tail lights when I can spend uh, 300 bucks on some Dell Store paint or something. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put this in here right now. Very difficult to find this stupid thing. So I guess, uh, and you know what, Dixie, you know, I am, I'm not advertising, but I'm looking around. I was looking around because I'm a person that looks for the best price. You know, I'm not somebody say, oh, that's okay, just pay that money. I don't give a shit if you got the money or not. You don't pay the high dollar. You get the good stuff at the lowest price. And you know what? That's what's the other principle about that is good. is because you're helping out the people that are working hard and taking less money. Right? Why not give them the business, right? It's the other way around. So, anyway, um, they're, they're a little less money than a lot of places, too eBay's pretty good too, but if you got a '78 Monte Carlo, you got some differences. They're all—it's even the um, the grill, the bezels around the headlights are different. Um, like one year only, man. I think one year only on the taillights, these bumper pads, that spindle. I think the grill. A lot of stuff because it was the first year they changed them over. But um, more interested about getting rid of the rust, but this aggravated me—the fact that that was missing. In the back, I just hated this. I could never find this part, and uh, even on the internet, I could never find it. And then I finally found it. I says, "Holy shit!" So, DixieMonteCarlo.com. No advertisement here. Now I'm telling you. I'm just telling you that they got some parts that are freaking hard to find on that place, and they're a little cheaper than other places. You know what? You know what it is too, because the site's name is Dixie Monte Carlo. You don't think it's got El Camino parts? It does have El Camino parts. Well, lots of them. Oh, in another place, I found parts good for this car that's cheap too. Um, I'll probably change the carpet out, you know, after I get done with more other stuff like rust, you know, rust like back here, down here in the bottom. Um, carpet RockAuto.com. I I've been ordering from them for a while. They're much more competitive, much more competitive. And I don't have rare parts for this car, but their parts are they're a lot lower than a lot of places I've seen. RockAuto.com. If it's, hopefully, as long as the shipping's not too much. Well, not or even. So, anyway, um, <laughs> actually, I had to trim the little plastic on the top of the. Uh, yeah, I guess, you know, I, no matter what the hell part you buy, even if it's the smallest part in the world, you probably have to do something to it. The. Um, <laughs> well, it took me two seconds to do it with the Dremel, but it was a little uh, thing that goes in there. It had to be that wide instead of that wide. So, anyway. But anyway, that's it. So man, I, I never, I could never find that part since I got this car in '91. The only place I had it. Thank you. Eh, it looks, 
I don't know, it just bugs me. It's not symmetrical, you know. I mean, I need to put some like this on the other side there too. But in, you know, you know, we'll be getting to all that. We'll be getting all that.